Hey, what's up, guys? Um, today I want to do a Q and A video. Um, usually when people PM me, I try to send back uh, the message to them. But um, recently, I kind of start to receiving a lot of uh, questions, same type of question by different people. So I saw, you know, maybe I should start doing Q and A videos so that you guys can all check my videos instead of asking me the same question over and over and over. Okay, so today's first question, uh, the only question, to start with is a uh, guy called uh, TOTO19800 and uh, basically he said, Hi, I'm from Argentina and I saw your video reveal about the Kinzu mouse and I was wondering if I should get that mouse and uh, I have small hands, do you recommend it to me? Or if I should get the uh, 1.1, I think that means uh, the IO 1.1 mouse, it's like 20 bucks and the Kingzu is like 50 bucks. Do you think I should get the uh, Kingzu or um, save some money and get the uh, IO 1.1? Now, here's my answer for your question. Now, um, first, uh, I'll say that uh, personally, I had um, I'm not really happy with the Kingsu mouse, and uh, you might notice that in my video I think I in my video description of about the of the Kingsu mouse I think I said that I have already sold not nah, sold returned the mouse returned the Kingsu mouse uh, because I don't quite like it it's not really as good as what I expected so um, now. Um, but right now, I just wanted to know, like, what mouse are you using right now? Are you not happy with the mouse you're having right now? Or it's just simply not working for you, like, doesn't work anymore? Or if it's some other reason that make you want to get a new mouse? And, uh, now, um, you say you have small hands, and, uh, this is probably the reason you want to get the Kingzu, because it's small. Now, um, personally, I have, my hands are small as well, as you can see, and, uh, uh, even though I have small hands, now I can tell you that I still feel the Kingsu mouse is too small for me. Now I'm not kidding, seriously. And I, that's probably because I've uh, used the that setter for a while, so you know that setter is kind of big, big mouse. So, but yeah, the Kingsu mouse, the, the shape, it first of all the shape, the size of it is just too small for me. Um, so yeah, well, I guess. If you really want to get the Kings of Mouse, I don't know where you're buying this from. If you're ordering online, obviously you cannot try it, but if there's any chance you can find it uh, at your local store, i say go and get it, or go and see if there's a way you can try it. If you don't like it, you can always return it. I don't know if you can return it in your, in your country, but uh, i say, you know, I highly recommend you to uh, try it first, see if you like it or not before you purchase it. Now, anyway, now let's talk about the uh, IO 1.1 that you uh, that you were talking about in the message. Um, now, this is a good mouse. It, it's uh, I've used it before. I've used it like five years ago, and I can tell you, compared to the IO 1.1 Kenzu mouse, the, sh the 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 shape, the, the size might look pretty similar, pretty close. But when you actually feel the mouse, the IO 1.1 it feels bigger, and for me, it works better. So uh, that's for me. I actually prefer the IO 1.1, and also I I don't know what game you're playing. Are you playing mainly playing game like the uh, Counter Strike 1.6, those school ones, or uh, Source, or some other game? Now, if you play uh, Counter Strike, now I know a lot of people prefer the IO 1.1. They use this mouse, and I think it's a good mouse. But if you're playing some other newer games. Um, you might need, you know, the higher DPI. You know that IE 1.1, IO 1.1 can only come with 400 DPI. So I don't know. Some people they like higher DPI. You know, so you might want to check some other mouse. Now, um, I have like other choices for you if you're looking for a small mouse. You might want to check out the Razer Samosa mouse because that mouse is like small, and I, I think it's a pretty good mouse. And I uh, I haven't I haven't got it yet, but uh, I think I'm gonna try it later. So yeah. Um, now uh, so far, um, 
if you watch my uh, recent videos, you might notice that I've been posting tons of uh, reveals or open box of different mice, like the uh, Star Wars The Kingdom Mouse, and I didn't like that, so I returned it, and then I got the uh, Microsoft Site Winter X3. I think it's a good mouse, but then I returned it because I found a better deal. Uh, it's a uh, Logitech MX518. So I got the 518 for like dirt cheap, so you can see from my um, video, one of my video, and uh, then I sold it for like much higher price, so I got some money, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, and I also used the uh, IE3.1.0 and the um, Razer Death Adder. Now compare all these ma all these mice, I say I prefer the Razer Death Adder and the IE3.0 on the top. After that, I think the Logitech 518 is a good one now. And after that, I prefer I just prefer the uh, Microsoft Side Windows like X3. And on the on the bottom list is is the Kingsley mouse. Now, it's for me. Um, it just not work for me. The Kingsley doesn't work for me. It there's nothing for me against like Steel Series or anything. I like their product. I have a mouse pad from uh, Steel Series, so nothing. For me, there's nothing like against them, but uh, that mouse doesn't work for me. So it might work for you. I don't know. So I say, you know, if you ask me, I would not get it. But you want to get it? I say go and try it first. You know, that's probably the best for you. Okay. Thanks for watching my video. And uh, have any questions? Feel free to leave comments or PM me. I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching.